Hello YouTube, Demetri Gaming here, and I'm going to show you guys how to make a server, a Minecraft server for 1.7.10 on the current 1.8 uh, Minecraft whatever. Um, I already made a video, but it was way too long, so I'm redoing it. Alright, let's go ahead and get right into it. Uh, first of all, what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to go to uh, Windows R. I have a Windows 8 so it's hard to find mine. You can either do Windows R or you can if you have Windows 8 come over to the search bo uh, search button and you're going to type in run enter <coughs> and it will bring you to this. You're going to want to type in app percent app data percent. Okay. And we're looking for our Minecraft folder. Right now I have a uh, older uh, Minecraft in it right now uh, with a uh, mods on all or like for with only mod with only a couple mods in it right now so we're actually going to delete this one and we're going to start another one so we'll go ahead and minimize that we're going to load up minecraft real quick and i'll be right back when it's ready all right guys welcome back um it's all ready and everything and we're right now on 1.8 so what we're gonna actually do is we're gonna edit our profile go to use version to use latest version and release 1.7.10 we're gonna do save profile we're gonna play alright guys it's all loaded up so all we're gonna need to do for this is just quit game alright once we do that we're gonna come over to we're gonna need a uh, actually we're gonna need to get Forge. Um, I already have this downloaded, so I'll put it. I'll definitely put the link in the description. But what you're gonna want to do is get the 1.7.10 recommended, and click on Install Win, and uh, we'll just wait for the five seconds to go and skip Add and download it. Then you're gonna want to go ahead and drag it to your desktop. Right now, I already have this downloaded and everything, so I'm just gonna go ahead and minimize that. And I have mine in a mods folder and. <coughs> and here it is uh, so what we're gonna wanna do is just gonna go ahead and double click that yes and install client onto it will say install client um, to minecraft and then ok and I'll be right back when this is all loaded up guys alright I'm back and it's all finished loading up so we're gonna do ok we're gonna go click on minecraft again we're gonna load this up and it should only take a second this time. Definitely not as long as time last, long as last time. All right, you're gonna click on your profile, and you're gonna click Forge, and you're gonna be playing and ready to update Minecraft Forge. So we're just gonna go ahead and uh, press play. It'll load up real quick, and. Here we go. <coughs> and uh excuse me and all right so it says we have three mods loaded three mods active so we'll click on the mods list and here's our forge so we're done with that we'll quit the game and for that we're going to bring back up our roaming folder or no yep our roaming folder my bad i didn't see it there for a sec. So here's our Minecraft and here's the mods folder. You're going to click dot Minecraft and go to your mods folder. We're going to go ahead and open up our mods and I will put these, I'm only going to be using three, uh, three of these mods I have. The craftable mod spawner has crashed on me a couple times so I'm not going to want to give you that, that one but I will definitely put a link in the description for the rest. <coughs> So this this one is Soul Shards, and then these are um, Backpacker's Core and Tree Cap Tree Capitator. So just copy all of these, paste them in here, and then we can go ahead and minimize that. And then we are done with this folder right here. So we can close that. Open up Minecraft once again. and we're just gonna check on them, make sure they work. So play. Okay. So 
almost done. All right, mods, backpacker score, tree capitator, and soul shards. Done. Single player. We'll do create new world, creative, create new world. <coughs> And for the tree capitator, we're gonna need an axe. And for the soul shards, we're gonna need glowstone, another rag, and stone. And the music's probably gonna be too loud. Dun dun. Back to the game. All right. And there it goes. The tree capitator one works. Now let's test out the Soul Shards mod. In order to do a Soul Shards, you need Endstone for this. Uh, for the one that I'm going to give you, I prefer this one other than the craftable uh, Soul Shard. Uh, because I feel that this one you work harder to get and I think it works better also. Um, depending on how you want to make it, if you want to make it from the outside in, which I've use this mod many times so I know how to make it this um, if you're new to this mod I would do it from the inside out start with the glowstone put the, the another wreck around it and then go to the end stone so yeah and then you're gonna want to take a diamond click or right click on the glowstone and out will pop in a soul shard um, I actually do like how they keep the nether wreck and the uh, end stone in this update um, because before it would actually turn everything into endstone and you would have to replace the nether rack and the glowstone but all you have to do is replace the glowstone now but yeah so that's working now too so we're gonna go ahead and save quit the title we're in a quick game now what we're gonna want to do is make a new folder we'll name it server for now just because uh, you can name it whatever you want um, and then we are going to open back up our forge click yes again and you want to do install server and you're going to want to change the directory to uh, desktop and then your uh, whatever uh, folder you made it as uh, right now I have a minecraft server point uh, 1.7.10 so I already have this done and that's what I named mine because I have a 1.8 server as well so we're going to click open uh, OK and then we're going to click OK again and I'll be right back when this is done loading. Alright guys we're all done loading so now we're going to open up our server folder and see that we have these three uh, fol these three files in there. We have libraries, forge, universal, and minecraft server 1.7.10. Alright the only one we're going to actually need right now is the forge so we're going to double click on that. We're going to let it load up let it load in the new folders Ooh, excuse me and then it loaded up our server as well but it will automatically shut down don't worry about that right now we're gonna um, come over to this EULA folder double click that and it says EULA equals false we are gonna change the false to true then we're gonna file save close and reopen our minecraft universe mine or forge universal <clears throat> all right let that load up and it's also going to load in some more files as well all right once it's finished uh loading which it should almost be done all right it's about 50 percent right now we'll let this finish loading up real quick and it's done. All right, we're gonna go ahead and s type in stop under there, and it'll stop it. It will go ahead and do all that. All right. Um, for this for server, you're gonna want to come here, and you're gonna want to make sure the server port is at two five five six five, which it should be, and you're gonna look for the server IP, which is right here. 
Alright, and then you're going to open up a command prompt, which if you do not know how to uh, open up a command prompt, which I leave mine on the desktop, uh, you're going to want to come to your search, and you're going to want to type in CMD, and it'll open the command prompt, or if you want to do the Windows R and type in CMD, that'll work as well. So we'll do OK, and when uh, in the command prompt, you're going to want to type in ipconfig, I-P-C-O-N-F-I-G, enter. And then you're going to look for your IPv4 address. Uh, mine is 192.168.0.34. Yours might or might not be the same. It doesn't matter. It's all okay. So once you have that, you're going to want to come over to your server IP, and you're going to want to type that in, 192.168. 0.34. All right, and you can edit these settings to however you want. Um, I like to change this to my my name. Just to do that, and max players for me is like ten. I don't play with too many people. Uh, so what you do is just exit that out, save, and we can go ahead and exit out of this. So that server is going good. Um, and then for the mods, you're going to uh, open up the mods folder in here now. And then you're going to want to open up your uh, the mods, uh, get the mods that you had, and copy and paste. And do it once again. Copy, paste, and we can go ahead and close that. Close this. You know, we're actually going to need to leave the server one open. Um, and you're going to want to. You can go ahead and run Forge again if you would like. Um, I'm pretty sure, and I know I know it's working. And so I'm going to give you guys a way to make your Forge run better. Your server run better so I'm gonna copy this I just need the uh, what's inside the run.bat file so I will actually paste it to the desktop and edit it just so that I can show you guys um, how to do it basically you're gonna need this whole program right here and normally if you've done a server before with the run.bat file it's gonna say minecraft underscore server dot jar or dot exe not dot jar but because we're not trying to run a minecraft server dot exe we're trying to run forge universal you have to change it to whatever you're trying to run and then my xmx is uh, 2048 and 2048 meaning i can run up to two i run up to two gigabytes on my server this will make it run faster i will definitely put this in the description just so you guys uh, don't have to worry um but we're gonna go ahead and copy We'll exit out of that. We're going to take uh, right click in the server file, new text document. Go ahead and just open it up, paste, and then file, save as. You're going to want to name it run.bat and then save as type, change to all files. All right. Click save. We can exit out of that. We can delete the new text document. <clears throat> and now we have a run.bat file. Alright, so we're going to go ahead and double click on the run.bat and your command prompt should pop up. That's alright, that's what's supposed to happen. Alright, we'll just give it a sec to load everything up. Minimize that, and now our Minecraft server is running on 97% free memory. Before it was only running about 24-25%. So now it has a whole lot more memory, so it'll run faster and work faster. And it loaded up pretty fast too. So from here, we're going to go ahead and open up Minecraft. And basically, you can do whatever you can to this Minecraft server to the Windows command prompt, and they'll do the same thing. So just because like this is so big, I don't like to use it all that much. I like to use the command prompt better. So I'll leave that one open, and we're going to go and press play.
Alright, we're going to go ahead and head to multiplayer. You're going to want to add a server and put in your ser the server IP that you put in before, which should be right here. This. You're going to want to put that in in here so mine was 192.168.0.34 and then you're also going to want to put a colon and then put your server port so my so it should be 25565 unless you change it but you shouldn't change it so it's fine so there and server is up and running and it had, we switched it to where it was 10 people so that's good uh, and it's mod, a compatible with mod uh, Forge mod loader, so we'll join the server. We'll test it out and I'll tell you how to invite your friends here in just a moment. So, right now, even though I'm the one who made it, I probably am not opt right now. And I'm not. So, what you're going to want to do to change that is come over to. Not that. You're going to want to open up the ops folder and in the brackets, type in your. Um, username mine is Dimitri Gaming so I'll file save close that but because so you don't have to shut down your server right now all you gotta do is open up your command prompt or your Minecraft server uh, log right here and type in OP and your username so OP Dimitri Gaming enter and the server op the server op me right here so now I can just go up to game mode one click it and I'm now uh, I now have it so we're gonna test it out in uh, in this now so we're gonna need that glowstone four of those actually we only need one since we're in creative my bad <laughs> and we'll test out the tree capitator it works so let's test out. I'll do it from the inside out this time to let you guys see. We're going to do that, 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 that. And then just encase it in endstone. So each one will require, if if you plan to make many of these, it's going to take eight endstone, four netherrack, and one glowstone, and a diamond. Once you use the diamond you got yourself a soul shard alright so once that's done we're gonna disconnect we'll quit the game uh, and um, I'm, I'm not actually gonna go to it because I don't want you guys to see my uh, my IP but uh, basically I'll put a link in the description of what you're gonna want to go to the um, Let's go to Google real quick, and you're gonna want to type in what's my IP right here. This one right here. Uh, I'm not gonna click on it because I don't want you guys to see my IP. And it's or you could just go to what'smyip.org, and it'll be the very it'll be the very top uh, in orange letters or orange numbers. You're gonna want to um, have your friends uh, put that into there. Uh, server address along with uh, the server port so let's just say it's 123.456.0.1 and then you're going to want to do a colon uh, 25565 so that's basically all you got to do um, I will definitely put the mods and forge in the uh, description so hope you guys liked it uh, if you ever want to stop it from the command prompt just stop and it'll be done and I hope you guys like this little tutorial and I'll see you next time later